Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm James and today I'm going to show you how I use Luminar Neo in order to create HDR images. HDR is high dynamic range and that's where you've got images which have either got um, uh, a sky which is completely white and blown out or no detail in the shadows. And the idea is you take say three or five bracketed images of different exposures and then you merge them all together. And Luminar Neo does this really nicely. So I'll show you exactly how I do it today. So the first thing I do is open Luminar Neo. I've had this software for a few weeks, maybe a month or so now, and it's really, it's really interesting. There's some really nice uh, features. I'm gonna show you how to do HDR images, but I'm also gonna do one other thing, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm bringing some images in now from a folder I created for this. And these are images which were taken uh, at night a few years ago. And I'll show you how this, the software does it. Control A highlights all of them. I'm going to drop, drop it into the HDR box here. Uh, okay, I've got batch HDR ticked. Because some of these are multiple images, and I'll show you exactly how it does this. So what the software does straight away is this image is ever so slightly different to this one. And it's grouped them together where it thinks uh, they're correct. So I'm, I'm just going to assist and... Okay, so there's a mix. So some images are on their own and some have got um, uh, bracketed images. I'll hit continue. That's now going to create seven images merging the ones that it thinks are at the same image but taken at different exposure values and we'll have a look now and see what the end result is so if i go into any of these i'll pick this one as it's selected that's where i've now got detail in the shadow areas but i've also got uh, detail in the sky now first thing is i can see i've got a few dust spots here so what I'm going to do is just go to edit and I'm going to go into erase and here I'm just going to click remove dust spots and so we should be able to see these dust spots disappear. So it just takes a second. They've all disappeared now. All of those that were in the top there have disappeared. Now um, there's one other thing I want to show you because it's really neat and there's some really neat features in this uh, software is to go back to catalog and I've selected this image I'm also going to use generays because there's something in this picture I don't like and that's this this bin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's already selected so all I need to do is paint around this bin and then I'm going to hit erase. This takes a minute or two, but I think um, when I looked at this image earlier and watched what it looked like uh, when the bin was taken away, it's really impressive what the software can do. In fact, if you can see now, that's continued the the yellow lines have continued, but um, it's done a very clever job. You would not know that a bin a bin was there. Now, I didn't have to go into Photoshop to do that. I didn't have to do any fancy stuff. It took, what, 30 seconds? It's really neat. Um, and I really like that bit of this software, I must say. So I'm gonna save that. And I click there, HDR merge. I've got seven images there. I can do something with these images now, whereas before I couldn't. So it's created very, very easily, HDR images. And I'm really pleased with, with that. Now, from here, I can go on and do further edits and things like that, but I think it's really snappy, really nice uh, software. The Luminar Neo, this is a copy that I bought. It's not been um, uh, given to me to review or anything like that. Overall, I think some of the AI tools that they've got are really, really good. And I think for this sort of thing, it can really, it's really speeding up my workflow, and I'm getting, um, I can work through images, especially doing things like this or erasing or creating HDR images. I can do that really, really quickly. And then I can either go on and uh, further fine tune it using Luminar Neo or another post-production software, uh, for example, Capture One. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up. 
If you like this kind of uh, video, I've got lots more coming. So please su click su to subscribe and you'll get alerted every time I drop a new video. But uh, other than that, see you in the next one.